Well, hi everyone, good morning. You know, I often get asked the question, why do so many people fail to receive the blessing of God's promises? And my answer is because they haven't learned to walk in the fullness of God's word. And then generally the follow-up question is, then how do we walk in the fullness of God's word? And I'm so glad you asked that question this morning. That answer is found in Psalm 119, 105. This is what it says. And we all know the scripture. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Walking in the fullness of God's promises is through reading and appropriating God's word in our daily lives. There's a wonderful declaration in scripture that God's word is wholly sufficient for all our needs. And it's in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is inspired by God. It's useful to teach us what's true makes us realize what's wrong in our lives it corrects us when we're wrong teaches us to do what is right god uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work what a wonderful description of god's word at work in our lives of course it begs a decision from us will we open god's word read it and appropriate what we find in there each and every day scripture builds our faith it reminds us of god's faithfulness it brings us into incredible depth of relationship with Him. I've had many people tell me it doesn't seem possible that reading a book would deepen our relationship with God. Well, except the Bible's not a book. The Bible is God's Word to us and does all those things we see in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Press pause on your morning and read through 2 Timothy 3, 3 16 and 17 and allow it to sink to the fertile soil of your soul. Amen. I really want to thank you guys for sharing your morning with me. I trust that God's going to bless you and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.